welcome the students of class 8 welcome to our social science e learning class and today in this class we are going to discuss history chapter 6 from your new ncrt book and uh, those have old ncrt book they can open the chapter number 7 in ncrt history book 2 for class 8 and it is in page number 87 in the old book okay so let's begin the today's topic and today's topic is cotton mills come up so in previous class you have read how did the indian textile industry declined and also what are the problem faced by the indian weavers so a lot of people also uh, lost their job and uh, though some of the indian industries survived indian uh, cottage textile industry survived but now in this subunit we will going to discuss the cotton mills comes up come up and how did the cotton mill also established in india after the industrialization in europe so the first cotton mill that was established in 1854 in bombay and by 1900 84 mills they started uh, produce, uh, producing cotton textiles in bombay so why bombay became the first center because from early 19th century a lot of uh, cotton raw cotton exported from uh, bombay presently known as mumbai toward uh, towards china and england so the port was very much busy with uh, for cotton export and cotton textiles also exported from that port to uh, europe so another reason it was uh, very close to the vast black black soil tract of south india so you know the deccan plateau region the regur soil of the deccan plateau is very useful for cotton cultivation so it is and bombay is situated in south india in western india and it is very near to the black soil tract of the western india so where cotton were grown okay so that's why it was easy to collect the raw material for any industry and uh, water was available also and uh, lot of businessmen by 1900 lot of businessmen like the parsis and the gujarati businessmen they also came with lot of money and they earned this money from china trade okay the trade with the china and they invested those money in those cotton mills in bombay so the first mill also started in ahmedabad in 1861 it is very near to bombay and in gujarat it was also the first cotton mill started in 1861 and the very next year in 1862 first cotton mill established also in kanpur uttar pradesh at the time known as united provinces okay and uh, thousands of poor peasants artisans and agricultural labor and those people who uh, lost their jobs because of the industrialization in britain and uh, uh, because of uh, the competition faced by the uh, faced them uh, and uh, they faced the competition because of the british products so they also joined on these mills as a laborer okay so in this way indian cotton textile industry also in factory uh, manufactured cotton textile industry also emerged but some problem was there they also suffered some problem what are the problems that in most of the countries when some new industries emerged the government they supported these industries so they actually imposed uh, duties on exported products exported textiles and to protect the small and emerging industries but in india when the indian entrepreneurs they appealed to the government british government that give us some protection to impose uh, uh, and impose duties on the european textiles they uh, denied that okay the government refused that proposal because the uh, india was ruled by the british and the, the most of the textiles they came from the britain after industrialization so it is quite obvious that they will uh, they would not 
stop that thing okay stop the import okay and it was also obvious that they will not impose any duty so number 3 when textiles imported from britain they also declined in because of the world world war 1 so you know that first world war occurred in 1914 to 18 so you'll read about detail in class 9 so in the time of first world war the demand of cotton textile was very high and also because of the war the sea routes also disturbed very much and uh, the import all the import was stopped from the britain to india so that's why what happened the indian government for military purposes they now turns towards the indian textile factories and uh, in this way the indian factories were called upon to produce cotton cloth for the military and the indian um, businessmen and those uh, factories okay earned huge money by selling the uniforms and clothes for the war purposes okay so that is the story of cotton mills how cotton mills revived in india and how cotton textile industry revived again okay students so that's all from today's class hope you have understood so next class we'll come with another sub unit from your uh, history chapter 6 the shore of tipu sultan and wood steel thank you for watching bye